A distributor needs to blend a mix of gazebo coffee that normally sells for $10.20 per pound with shade-grown coffee that normally sells for $11.80 per pound to create 60 pounds of a coffee that can sell for $10.33 per pound. How many pounds of each kind of coffee should they mix? Round to the nearest whole pound. We need to begin by defining a variable and variable expression for the amount of gazebo coffee and the amount of shade-grown coffee. To begin, we know there must be 60 pounds of the mixture. So let's record this as 60 equals the pounds of mixed blend, which sells for $10.33 per pound. Next, let's let the variable x equal the pounds of gazebo coffee, which sells for $10.20 per pound. And now for the amount of shade-grown coffee, since we know there's a total of 60 pounds of the blend and x pounds of gazebo coffee, the total of 60 minus x must give us the pounds of shade-grown coffee, which sells for $11.80 per pound. Again, the total amount of the mixed blend, which is 60 pounds, minus x, the pounds of gazebo coffee, must give us the number of pounds of shade-grown coffee. And now from here, we can write an equation. Our equation will be the cost of the first coffee times the amount plus the cost of the second coffee times the amount must equal the mix cost times the mix amount. And since we have X pounds of gazebo coffee that sells for $10.20 per pound, the cost times the amount is $10.20 times X or just 10.2 times X. And then we have plus there are 60 minus X pounds of the shade grown coffee sells for $11.80 per pound and therefore the cost times the amount is $11.80 per pound times the quantity 60 minus X or 11.8 times the quantity 60 minus X and this must equal the cost of the mix times the mix amount and since we know we have 60 pounds of the mixed blend that sells for $10.33 per pound the cost times the amount is 10.33 times 60. And now we need to solve this equation for x and then come back and determine the number of pounds of gazebo coffee and the number of pounds of shade grown coffee. To begin solving we first need to clear the parentheses on the left by distributing 11.8 and then find the product on the right. So we have 10.2x and then plus 11.8 times 60, which is equal to 708. And then we have 11.8 times negative x, which gives us minus 11.8x, equals on the right 10.33 times 60 is equal to 619.8. And now we simplify the left side of the equation by combining like terms. 10.2x minus 11.8x is equal to negative 1.6x, which gives us negative 1.6x plus 708 is equal to 619.8. Next step, we isolate the variable term by subtracting 708 on both sides. Simplifying, on the left, we have negative 1.6x is equal to 619.8 minus 708, which equals negative 88.2. The last step to solve for x is to divide both sides by negative 1.6. Simplifying on the left, negative 1.6 divided by itself simplifies to 1. 1 times x is x. We have x equals the quotient on the right, negative 88.2 divided by negative 1.6 is equal to 55.125. So this is the exact number of pounds we would need of the gazebo coffee 
in order to make the desired mix, but notice how the directions do say round to the nearest whole number, which means round to the ones place value. We have a five in the ones place value, and to the right we have a one in the tenths place value, and therefore we round down to 55. 55.125 is closer to 55 than it is to 56. So to answer the question, how many pounds of each kind of coffee should they blend, we will actually use x equals 55, or 55 pounds of gazebo coffee. Let's answer the question on the next slide. So again, we will use x equals 55 to answer the question. We also need to find 60 minus x, which will give us the pounds of shade-grown coffee. And 60 minus x is equal to 60 minus 55, which is equal to 5. So we now know they should use 55 pounds of gazebo coffee and 5 pounds of shade-grown coffee to make 60 pounds of a coffee that will sell for $10.33 per pound. Let's write this out as a complete sentence.